In this video, I'll show you the coffin hang, a skill I personally found very confusing when I was first learning it, but hopefully this video makes it clear for you. I have a basic wrap on my right leg, pull the foot back, left foot comes in front of the fabric and then out to the side and around. Then you're going to walk your hands down the pole, leave your feet behind the pole as you release. I'll go over it again slower, so don't worry. In the meantime, I'm coiling the fabric around to my body and I'm just going to dance it off, which is one fun option you have here. All right, another shape you can make. Find your tail overhead. Walk your hands up with thumbs up and bring your head up to the pole. Keep your legs as straight as you can. And for the second shape, pop your booty to the pole and again, lift your head. So these both require some flexibility. I'll go over in more detail in a moment. You'll climb up your fabric and you will actually come right back to a basic wrap. So that's it. Let's look again and slow it down. All right, so here we are on the basic wrap. We need the left leg to kind of just hang out for a moment. So you're going to take it out to the side and straight point your toes. The right foot is going to tuck behind you. And then you'll take the back of your left ankle to scoop that fabric and match your feet. So you're in a cute little pose. Then your feet will continue to swivel around, making sure that the fabric falls over both ankles. I want you to visually check fabric over both ankles. If it's just one, you will not be secure. Once you have checked on that fabric, sink your hips, walk your hands down the pole, and you're gonna watch the pole go right in between the ankles where it catches on your fabric. You can point your toes in this ankle hang and they can stay behind the pole. That's the prettiest way to do it in my opinion. As for this nice coil, it's helpful to put it in an armpit before you dance it off so you can kind of just hold it in place. As you can see, my arms are by my ears overhead as I twirl out. For this next shape, it can be tricky to find the fabric and put your arms where you want them. So you're basically reaching your hands toward the ground for your fabric. And then with thumbs up, you're walking your hands up the pole as you lift your head, keeping your legs as straight as you can. It's a lot of upper back and hip flexibility. All right, then you'll bend your knees for the next shape and that will help the booty pop toward the pole. Then you want your hands reaching down the tail as you lift your head. So you can see I have straight arms there. All right, as for coming out, tail to your right and let it come between your legs as you reach up above your wraps when you point your knees to the ground, the tail will fall and you will be magically back on your basic wrap. So that's it. Have fun.